Hey there, Tim Neri here, the co-founder and chief product officer at SnapAttack. And I'm excited to announce our partnership and integration with Mandiant. The most pressing question that keeps CISOs up at night, are we protected? Whether it's a new zero day, a large breach, a critical piece of malware, the question always remains the same. Are we protected? Now, that question can be answered more confidently than ever before with a new partnership between Mandiant and SnapAttack. This partnership brings together Mandiant's world-class threat intelligence and security validation capabilities and SnapAttack's validated vendor-agnostic behavioral analytics that have been battle-tested against our large threat library and mapped to the industry standard MITRE attack framework. Let's take a look at what's available to our customers starting today. Here we are on the threat feed in SnapAttack. And as you can see, we've already pre-filtered to show Mandiant security validation content. There's over 500 attack sessions in this initial release. Subscribers to both platforms can log into SnapAttack, navigate to the threat feed, and then scroll down to find the filter by attack simulation compatibility and check the box for Mandiant security validation to filter by this content. Let's take a look and see what one of these sessions looks like. For those not yet familiar with SnapAttack, our threat library aims to memorialize hacker tradecraft, complete with recorded desktops, keystrokes, endpoint event logs, and network packet captures. And this is part of what makes our partnership with Mandiant so powerful. Their security validation platform has thousands of automated attacks, both host and network-based, that can be run in SnapAttack as well as your production environment. This threat should be familiar to everyone, it's the credential dumping tool Mimikatz. MSV contains several variations of common attacks to thoroughly test and validate your security controls. This one in particular is employing a defense evasion technique by padding the binary, since some antivirus vendors don't scan the entire file. These variations are also helpful in snap attack as we can measure the robustness of our analytics and choose the best ones to deploy. As we look at this attack session, we can see information pulled from MSV including the attack description, list of supported platforms, commands to be executed on the host, files run, and MITRE attack mappings. We also have a video capture of the victim's desktop when the attack was run. As we hit play, we can see the captured output from MSV showing the successful execution of Mimikatz. We also see this hotspot of activity on the video timeline. Scrolling down, we can see the red star denoting the attack that was executed, as well as blue markers for all of the analytics that can detect this attack. A defender can analyze these and determine which ones to deploy. Scrolling back up to the top, we have this button to launch an attack simulation. Clicking this will take us over to Mandiant Security Validation, where we can review, configure, and execute the attack. Another way to use MSV is to validate deployed analytics in your production environment. To do this, we're going to browse through the SnapAttack analytic library. We've filtered our analytics to show the ones that are compatible with Mandiant security validation. That is, we have confirmed that one or more MSV actions will trigger the analytic. Looking at one of these analytics, we can see that it's detecting stored credentials being dumped from LSAS. We can see how this analytic has performed in SnapAttack, a description of what it does, references, and related attack sessions. We can also see the analytic logic. The majority of analytics in SnapAttack are written in a vendor agnostic manner, such that they can be translated on demand to many of the leading security tools, such as Splunk, Microsoft Sentinel, CrowdStrike, and Sentinel-1. Scrolling down, we can see all of the analytic hits against sessions in SnapAttack, including one on the MSV session we just looked at. If an analyst feels comfortable with this analytic, they can deploy it with a single click to their SIM, EDR, or one of the other configured integrations. They can then use MSV to test and validate the analytic in their production environment, simply by clicking the Launch Attack Simulation button and choosing an attack simulation to run. So if you want to answer that question, are we protected? Reach out today to schedule a demonstration or set up an evaluation. And if you're at the RSA conference next week, stop by the SnapAttack kiosk in the Early Stage Expo or the Mandiant booth where there will be additional demos of this integration.